name's Julie. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. This is the sixth part of my Happy Planner Year series, where I track the releases from 2022 to predict what's coming in 2023. I've been really looking forward to doing this one in particular because it covers the months of November and December, which are pretty busy months for Happy Planner sales. Although I can't predict with any certainty what's going to be coming up, I found in every single one of these videos, there seems to be a regular pattern of sales, which helps you, particularly if you're on a budget, to think about when you might want to put some money aside and definitely knowing when to avoid planning those no spend months. I'm pretty sure most of you will not be planning a no spend month in November. This video is primarily aimed at new happy planners who don't know what to expect. But even if you're a seasoned happy planner like me, you may find it a useful reminder to help you plan your spending. Before we start with November and December, I'm just going to look back at September and October to see how similar they were. I hope you can't hear any noise in the background, but if you can, it's just the fireworks. It's really tricky to film at the moment, but there's just no avoiding them. Hopefully you can't hear them too much. So you can see that September was very, very similar to last year. We had the Labor Day sale on the first extra 20% off sale items, exactly the same as last year. Then the much anticipated full release, only a day apart. That was when we had the Disney 100 Making Memories Cats and Dogs stickers and planners, as well as, of course, all the 12 month planners. I've seen lots of people on Facebook ask, will there be any more planner releases? And yes, there is still one more release to come, but that's the undated release in the winter. So if you're not a fan of dating a planner, your only option is to buy one from the spring release, an 18 month planner, or to get one of the full release 12 month planners. A lot of the happy planner things are now available on Amazon. And certainly for the spring release planners, you should be able to pick them up at fairly good prices even if you are in the UK. In that full release, we also had the big surprise, which was the return of the Skinny Mini, which is something I've been asking for for a while. It did seem rather expensive though, for the size that it was. But I've always said that about the Skinny Classic Planner. I don't understand why those cost so much in comparison to a classic or a big planner. But I believe the Pastime Skinny Mini has just sold out on the Happy Planner website. So it was obviously quite popular. They also brought back the tiny sticker pads, which we haven't seen for a while. I don't know about you, but I've got quite a collection of those and I always forget to use them. It's one of my resolutions next year to at least do a couple of spreads using them. The only other big thing of note was the new Doc Grid journals. But I was a little bit wary of getting those because when I saw some of the flip throughs on YouTube, it didn't look as though the dots lined up from one page to another. I don't know if that's a common thing with dot grid planners, but I would imagine most of the lay flat bullet journals that are on sale are pretty much even because I know a lot of people do count the dots to draw their own layouts. Just so you know, on all the big releases, Happy Planner do a buy more, save more, which is usually 15% off $75, 20% off $100 and 25% off $150. It should be exactly the same for the upcoming winter release. Next, there was the 25% off site-wide friends and family sale. Personally, I always find site-wide sales much more useful than select items because you can apply the discount to things that you want. One thing to say about all these discounts is that usually you cannot combine them with any reward points you may have accumulated. If you don't know about reward points, I talk about those in my earlier videos. So on to October. And instead of 20% off wellness, which we had last year, we had a 20% off, but it was just floral collections. Then exactly the same, up to 50% off accessories, followed by an extra 20% off sale items and free shipping over $50. If you live in America, free shipping is always something to look out for, but the best free shipping offer to look out for is the free shipping no minimum, because then you can just pick up one or two things without having to pay any shipping at all. Last year it was buy one, get 50% off Disney, and this time it was just 25% off all Disney. There was no double points day, but we did have a first responders day, so 20% off for first responders, and you need to have proof of ID. They ended the month with free shipping over $31 for Halloween, which is a little bit better than the previous free shipping offer. So now let's move on to November and December. 
just to say I'm not going to put in all the details of the Cyber Week sales, mainly because I'm a little short on time at the moment, but I do plan to do that in a separate video. Let's take a look at what's coming up in November. This video is going out a little bit late and I think we have had a new advent calendar but at the start of November last year we had the first ever Happy Planner advent calendar. So although that's not a sale because it's something new I'm going to put it in. I imagine this is something they're going to be doing every single year. I know a lot of people bought it and had some fun with it. It's not a product that I'm particularly interested in, I have to say. On the second, we had up to 40% off florals. So again, you can only pick from the items that are in the sale. So if you're into florals, that's great. I'm not sure whether this year it will be florals or whether they will pick a different category. For Daylight Savings, they had a special offer. Um, I believe that is coming up in the USA this weekend. We already had it last week here in the UK. And it was a 25 hour flash sale. So you did have to be quick. with 25% off that it was select styles. So you're at the mercy of Happy Planner as to whether anything you wanted was in the sale. The eighth was quite exciting last year because we had 20% off items from the holiday gift guide. And there were some new items and we always get excited when there are new items. The items were the micro notebook gift set. I actually did get that but later I got it in the January sale I think. There was a mug with the discs on. There was a Happy Planet Essentials bundle which I believe was a lot of sticker books. I'm not 100% sure, it's not something that I bought. Actually, it was in a tote bag and it had 14 items. I believe there were stickers, but as I didn't get it, I can't really say. I don't like to buy mystery bundles. I like to know exactly what I am getting. On the 11th, for Veterans Day, they had 20% off. So look out for something on Veterans Day this year. Then on the 12th, it wasn't a sale, but they had a mystery draw. Not a mystery draw, just a draw. And that was for World Kindness Day. And you just would nominate someone who you'd like to win $500 worth of Happy Planner supplies. I never did find out who won that, but it would be a pretty good prize if you did. On the 15th, there was 20% extra off for reward members, which let's face it, I think most people who buy from Happy Planner have got reward points and are reward members. And there was also a free shipping, but only over $50. That was everything in November up to Cyber Week and as you can see, over Cyber Week, they had seven days of deals starting on the Monday, including Black Friday and also including Cyber Monday. But I'll go into the details of that in another video. Just to say there are usually new items in the Black Friday sales. So it's not just a case of getting a discount on what's already there. 
I always get really excited about what's coming up and I'll try to get that video out as soon as possible, along with some tips for shopping the Black Friday sales. Let's move on to December. Even though it's the end of the year, there are still quite a few things happening in December. And of course, the big one is the winter Happy Planet release, the last release of the year. This is the release that has the undated planners. So if like me, you haven't found a planner that you really love, there might be one in this release that you can pick up but you do have to date the pages yourself. Last year, they also released a whole bunch of guided journals. The one with a yellow cover was very popular. Hello Happy, I think it was called. Everybody wanted to get hold of it, but there were lots of others. I think a budget one and lots of different wellness ones. So maybe there'll be something like that this year. Obviously, there are going to be new stickers. Not as many as in the fall or spring release, but new stickers nevertheless. And in 2022, they had a new Be Happy box. So there may be another one of those. This one was the Find Your Balance Be Happy box. It was wellness orientated. And as usual, this was a buy more, save more release. On the 11th, they had a buy one, get one on the planners. I suppose they're trying to get rid of some of the spring release planners that have been hanging around. People aren't going to want them so much next year. So again, if you haven't chosen your planner for 2024, this might be an opportunity to pick up a couple. They also had an accessory sale. And this was what I mistakenly referred to earlier as happening, which was the ultimate sticker bundle. Really, really good deal. I can't remember how much it was, but it was about seven or eight sticker books for a really good price. Obviously older sticker books, but for a new planner, really useful to pick those up. On the 18th was a 20% off sale. Not sure if it was site-wide or select items. I track back this information from the emails I received from Happy Planner and they don't always give all the details, but they will definitely be having more sales in December. On the 21st, they were still trying to get rid of older planners because they were offering a free pack of filler paper. I think it might've been the Coco winter Christmas paper. And you got that if you bought a planner. So we encourage you to buy one of those. 24th was just a free shipping. But over $50, as I've already said, if you wait, you will get the offer of free shipping, no minimum, which is much better. On the subject of shipping, I just want to mention for the UK viewers of my channel that you have to be really careful when you are ordering sale items from Happy Planner because they list them as full price on the packet. So for customs, they will be counted as full price. So I remember once I think I ordered about sort of 40 pounds worth of things and then when it arrived in my country, it had a hundred pounds on the packet. And I was like, I never spent a hundred pounds, but it turned out that they list the full price, not the sale price. And you might be wondering why that's significant. Well, in the UK, we get charged customs on orders over 135 pounds. So in that case, you can buy lots of sale items, think you haven't spent the £135, but then end up getting a customs charge. I know someone recently I saw on Facebook ended up paying £62 in customs, which is a big shock when you think you've just got a real good bargain in a sale. So for the end of year clearance, it's an extra 20% off sale items. They've had that 
fairly consistently throughout the last few months so not really anything new and then the final push to get rid of planners at the end of the year was a save up to 50% of planners really reduced to get rid of them and a 20% off sale items continuing. So I hope you found it useful if you're new to Happy Planner to see what sort of sales they have and if you're not new I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane. Remember it's always a good idea to save items to your wish list on the Happy Planner website by pressing the little heart icon so if there is a flash sale that's only lasting 24 hours, you can go straight to your wish list and add the items to your basket. Another thing to remember is that things do not commonly sell out on Happy Planner anymore. The one exception to that this year was the Hocus Pocus box. I was a little surprised it didn't restock, but I imagine they only got very limited quantities because it was specific to Halloween. A lot of things that were available in last year's Black Friday release are still available and they've been on sale for quite a while this year. But there were definitely some items that released on Black Friday that have not dropped below that Black Friday special price, such as the Mega Seasonal book, which is something I picked up last Black Friday. I kept my eye on it through the year and the cheapest price it ever was was on that Black Friday if you grabbed it. Thanks for joining me and remember to look out for that video on Black Friday coming soon. See you next time and happy planning.